Boca Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon and you're watching Israeli News Live. The United States claims that it is now sending in uh, heavy equipment, heavy armory, and even possibly F-22s, one of its latest fighters, into Europe. Uh, as according to, the, to CNN, and the U.S. is actually saying this is in response to Vladimir Putin bu uh, buildup of more than 40 intercontinental intercontinental ballistic missiles for nuclear warheads as it perceives a threat from the United States. Now what we find that is kind of ironic is as the United States is saying they will send these uh, troops in and they will be engaged in warplanes with 55,000 U.S. troops on the ground. Uh, we consider that more of an admission of what they were, what they have already done. We have already been seeing, we've reported before, that the U.S. has been sending in heavy tanks and armament into the former Soviet states for several months now. Not only that, we mentioned how that uh, friends of ours in Lithuania have talked about the supersonic uh, jets that have been flying overhead in their country, U.S. jets and U.S. troops already on the ground. Uh, so kind of like Russia, where Russia doesn't want to admit that they're already in uh, Ukraine, the United States doesn't want to admit that they're already in the former Soviet states, Poland, Lithuania, and other countries there. They have been there and they're building up. Now it's just more of an admission. Well, the question comes down to when will Russia admit that they're already in Ukraine? You know, we can understand Russia being in Ukraine to protect the, 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 the Russian citizens there. So they should just come clean and be honest about it and say that they're there to protect their citizens just as they came in and took Crimea back in order to protect the more than 75% or close to 90% of the population actually being ethnic Russian. We are definitely seeing though a situation that is heating up and building up and could easily spiral out of control. But the question comes down as to whether or not this is a staged event. Is this something that is really going to happen but the public just doesn't realize that it's meant to happen and that both sides intend on doing this regardless. As we mentioned on several news broadcasts already coming out of Austria into the Czech Republic months ago on one of the new highways being built there uh, in, in Europe, there was a state-of-the-art border crosser, crossing being built on the Czech-Austrian state line. Well, why would they need a border crossing there if the Czech Republic, as it has already become part of the European Union, what do they need a border crossing for? Could this be a situation much like what we're seeing in Israel? On Highway 1 coming up from Tel Aviv, Ben Gurion Airport there into Jerusalem, on the highway that's been being reconstructed there for the motorists, there is a huge archway being built there for a checkpoint that will inevitably internationalize Jerusalem and cause the Israelis as well to have to go through a checkpoint and show passport ID in order to enter into the uh, enter into Jerusalem once again. Now we can only see how these things will play out in the very near future but nonetheless war is definitely on the horizon. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live.